Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday morning, and we're going to come together this morning to read Proverbs chapter 11. Uh, so let's hear God's word. The Lord detests the use of dishonest scales, but he delights in accurate wits. Pride leads to disgrace, but the humility comes from wisdom. Honesty guides good people. Dishonesty destroys treacherous people. Riches won't help on the day of judgment, but right living can save you from death. The godly are directed by honesty. The wicked fall beneath their load of sin. The godliness of good people rescues them. The ambition of treacherous people traps them. When the wicked die, their hope dies with them, for they rely on their own feeble strength. The godly are rescued from trouble, and it fall on the wicked, and it falls on the wicked instead. With their words, the godless destroy their friends, but knowledge will rescue the righteous. The whole city celebrates when the godly succeed; they shout for joy when the wicked die. Upright citizens are good for a city and make it prosper, but the talk of the wicked tears it apart. It is foolish to belittle one's neighbour. A sensible person keeps quiet. A gossip goes round telling secrets, but those who are trustworthy can keep a confidence. Without wise leadership, a nation falls. There is safety in having many advisers. There's danger in putting up security for a stranger's debt. It's safer not to guarantee another person's debt. A gracious woman gains respect, but ruthless men gain only wealth. Your kindness will reward you, but your cruelty will destroy you. Evil people get rich for the moments, but the reward of the godly will last. Godly people find life, evil people find death. The Lord tests people with crooked hearts, but he delights in those with integrity. Evil people will surely be punished, but the children of the godly will go free. A beautiful woman who lacks discretion is like a gold ring in a pig's snout. The godly can look forward to a reward, while the wicked can expect only judgment. Give freely and become more wealthy. Be stingy and lose everything. The generous will prosper. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. People curse those who hoard their gains. But they bless the one who sells in time of need. If you search for good, you will find favour. But if you search for evil, it will find you. Trust on your money and down you go, but the, de the godly flourish like leaves in spring. Those who bring trouble on their families inherit the wind. The fool will be a servant to the wise. The seeds of good deeds become a tree of life. A wise person wins friends. If the righteous are rewarded here on earth, what will happen to wicked sinners? Amen. And that's the end of Proverbs chapter 11. Again, packed full of so many little sayings that Solomon has, um, just as he wants to, to share what, what wisdom he has, the wisdom that God has given to him. If we just pick out two things from that. One is about being honest. And it, it's a theme that comes through in a lot of um, Proverbs chapter 11, just that God loves honesty and he hates dishonesty. Um, and it, it's, it's a call for us to be honest. We have to be honest first about ourselves and to ourselves. Honest about where we are and, and, and what we're doing, but then honesty to others as well. Don't tell lies, speak the truth. That's how you do that as well, isn't it? It's how we use our, our mouths. That's one of the things. The other thing comes in verse um, verses 12 and 13. It is foolish to belittle one's neighbour. A sensible person keeps quiet. Gossip goes around telling secrets. But those who are trustworthy can keep a confidence. We all know somebody who gossips, don't we? Somebody who knows all of his, uh, but who doesn't hold it in themselves. We know there are other people who, who maybe know exactly what's going on, but they don't talk about it. They are very, um, they're very good that way. They, they keep confidence, they don't talk. Whereas there's others just love gossip so they can spread it on to others. 
And it's about being that friend who can be trusted, a friend who will speak truth, and a friend who will hold that confidence, a friend who will walk with somebody through the difficult times. So this morning, just as you, you head out to do whatever that needs to be done today, whether you're, you're working from home and you're staying there, whether you're an essential worker and you have to go out, um, whether you've got your family around you and you're trying to school and while you're sitting at home by yourself, just reflect on some of those verses. Just again, just take the time to read over them again um, and just think about how each of them applies to, to you or how when you meet different circumstances you can apply it. Because that, that's what God's Word's all about, isn't it? It's, it's how it guides and directs us each day. But thanks for listening this morning, folks. Let's just come together and pray. Lord, thank you again for another day. It may be wet and, and dark outside, Father, but we know that it's a day that you have given to us, so we are thankful for it. We know we need the rain just as much as we need the sunshine um, for crops to grow and for the land to flourish. So we thank you for all that you give us. We thank you for the seasons for springtime and harvest, for winter and autumn. Uh, Lord, just how, again, that, that cycle um, helps everything to grow, helps things to be refreshed. Uh, and, and Lord, how through that you provide for us. We are, we are grateful and we are thankful. Father, this morning in particular, we just want to remember those people who are at home, um, who can't get out through ill health, uh, who find the day very long and very lonely. We ask that you have been near them this morning. That just, Lord, whatever circumstance that they find themselves in, whatever the reason is for them being stuck at home or in a nursing home, Lord, that just that you would remind them how much you love them and care for them. So, Lord, thank you. Thank you for all that you will do for us this day. Thank you for your hand being upon us. And continue with us now, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks. Good to um, see the nails pop pop it up on the screen uh, good to see you all I trust you have a good day and you stay safe and if you're free again tomorrow morning join me again half nine see you take care bye